Gran Turismo is coming to theaters August 11th and is actually based on a true story. Real-life Nissan driver Jan Martinborough is now a professional racing driver, and Gran Turismo takes us through his unusual path to high-speed success. I mean, this guy went from gaming to the 24 hours of Le Mans in a Nissan GT-R LM Nismo, no less, and Japan's Super GT series in a GT500. After mastering Gran Turismo 1 at 8 years old, playing on a PS1 console he got as a gift from a neighbor, the glory and hype all began in 2011 in Gran Turismo Academy. Jan Martinborough was 20 years old at the time. He beat more than 90,000 entrants to win a seat with Nissan in the Dubai 24 hour. How's that for a crabs in a barrel situation? He did the first round in his socks using a custom rig he set up in his Cardiff bedroom. This was all after dropping out of a motorsports engineering course at a local college. Up to that point, the young Brit had never traveled real fast in a car, maybe 90 miles an hour max, so he was no serious contender. Despite the no serious real life motorsports experience thing, Martin Burrell placed third in his class at the endurance event. In just just three years, Yan went from gaming to earning a top three finish at Le Mans and won his first race in GP3. GP3 is a feeder series to F1, by the way. It was all looking good. He was even doing promo events like test driving Virgin Racing's Formula E car. <laughs> when tragedy struck a year later in 2015, the scene of the crime, Nürburgring a track Jan felt he had mastered in the game. He did not heed to the warnings that the German track had claimed the lives of 70 drivers in competition. On March 28, 2015, Jan flew off the track. He miraculously survived, sustaining only minor injuries, but Jan's airborne GTR caused a spectator to lose their life. The crash is dramatized in the movie. Jan has since says he feels tremendous guilt for the loss of life. Behind the wheel and uh, it's massive guilt huge guilt. And still maintains that Nürburgring is his favorite track. Less than a week after the crash, he was back behind the wheel at his local track. He soldiered on in Japan, racing in the Super Formula and then the Super GT, driving the Calisonic GT500 car he used to select in Gran Turismo as a child. After driving for Nissan and Formula E and many other racing endeavors, Martin Burrow's been working behind the scenes. He's a development driver for Nissan and McLaren. Not a bad way to make a living. At 31 years old at the time of riding, he's quite a bit beefier and has long photogenic hair like British racing superstar Lewis Hamilton. Yan's about to get much closer to superstar status when Gran Turismo drops. Archie Medeque stars as Martinborough. Jerry Hallowell Horner, aka Ginger Spice, aka Mrs. Christian Horner, plays as Mama Leslie. Jaiman Hansu is the father. Steve Martinborough, who was a modest football star in the 80s, by the way. Steve, not Jaiman. David Harbour stars as the hater, Jack Salter. And Orlando Bloom is in the mix as Danny Moore. Beyond entertainment, the movie is showing there's a direct correlation between being a good driver in Gran Turismo and being a good driver in real life. Maybe a Microsoft Flight Simulator movie is next?